Hey guys, welcome back. So as you may know, this is a card we've had for a little while now. Um, we actually got it as a bonus card when we bought someone's collection. Now the issue that we have with it is this rating company, as far as we're aware, really isn't well known. It's not CGC, it's not BGS, it's not PSA. I include CGC because they really have grown in popularity. They weren't they weren't originally one of the people I would put as a grading card company as the knowns. That BGS and PSA was really all it was. Now this guy though, this company, and I look at their website. They seem to you know be an official website and something. They're not they're not just some dude in um you know his uh, house uh, just grading things. Now. I don't know if this occurred while the car was already cased or if they had graded it as a 10 um, like this. You can see, looking through the case, it looks like there is some uplift right there, right here on the corner. Now, what we're doing is we're going to take it out of the case completely. Um, why would we do this, though, instead of just sending in for reholder? And not as we're trying to, I don't think it saves us any money, maybe a buck or here or there. But there is one thing I don't like about doing a reholder when you send in to get graded by another company is now they know that depending on what you send it in with this company that, for example, if I send this card into PSA, which is what I'm probably going to do, and it would have gotten a PSA 10, but they see that this company gave it a 10, then PSA kind of is forfeiting their grading to that company. Not exactly, but subsequently so essentially what i'm getting at is no matter what you're guaranteed either the same grade or you're guaranteed to have a less of a grade i don't want to guarantee myself a less of a grade i'd like to at least take out the uh which company did this now um i could of course stop there i could just cut that part off send it in for a reholder have the psa be super confused as to why a card in a sonically sealed case with the top ripped off uh, came in. Now, I've honestly never cracked one of these open. I didn't look up any video on how to crack them open. I hear there are several ways to kind of pry cases open and people do that to insert. Oh, do we have movement already? Maybe that will do. Let's see. Um, I hear some people have figured out ways to crack them open, which maybe we have just accidentally figured out. Uh, this company and others. Uh, I'm seeing some movement. You can see it right there on the corner. I bet you I could just get a flathead screwdriver. Give me one second. Just gonna leave that there. There's a little bit of a bulky flathead, but it's better than my breaking my um my thumbnail on this thing. I'm seeing some wiggle. There is some wiggle, so. Uh, if I had to guess, it's not just a flat part. There's actually probably some, some plastic lip that sits inside. Now, obviously, we want to do this with pretty much no impact to the card, uh, which makes this a little bit of a pain. Now, um, we are probably just going to speed things along. Have a Dremel here. Should be able to slice slice right through that corner. And then maybe we'll be able to make some work from there. Be able to slice right through. That just straight melt the plastic. There's a nice, lovely melted plastic smell coming off now. Um, so I saw the label in the card shake around a little bit, which uh, really makes me hope that nothing bad happened here. So it looks like we can slip in here. This is really hard because I'm doing this while watching it through the camera. I think... The heat may have actually 
sealed it shut a second time. I'm gonna pull it off camera for a second and see if I can find a, uh, I'm not seeing like, um, I'm seeing a small crack. I'm gonna see if I can slip in here. Yeah, the people who apparently crack these open to try and um, trick people must have some really good tools, some small tools and a lot of know-how because as you can see, we just cut a whole corner off and we still can't really crack these things open. Um, I'm getting practically nowhere. Let's see if we can't. We're not you know, trying to take the most scientific approach. Really, kind of just get in and... See, it looks like I can slip in, but I go to and then there's no room at all for my, for my pliers to get in. All right, oh, here we go, here we go. Again, we're only doing this so that way we take out take out any biased judgment by probably the PSA we're gonna send this into. We're taking away that biased judgment. To them, we're just sending in a raw card that needs a grade. And we'll see in our own our own way how this compared uh, to this grader. Granted, as I said, the card Clearly has been bouncing around this case a little bit. Trying not to rush it, but trying not to make the video too long. So, <laughs> yeah. It does suck. Um, I did originally list the card. I don't know if it didn't sell very much because um, of it being the greater. Or if you don't know, I didn't put this. The this When I got this card, the reason why he gave it to me is because the case had a giant crack in it. And... He's like, it's not worth anything with a giant crack in the case. And I'm like, yeah, but the card's fine, isn't it? He's like, yeah. And I was like, um, it's still worth, you know, still worth a 10. Oh, hi. I think we got it out without damaging it. Um, I can already tell you this isn't going to get a 10. You can see the border is much thicker on the left than the right. This definitely won't get a PSA 10. I don't see why it kind of get a eight or a nine, though, which is still fairly solid. And confirming, yeah, it's really hard to tell with the hollow foil, um, but it does look like there is some sort of uplift on that corner. Yeah, oof. I am still going to send it in and see what it gets. Well, guys, so that is our way of cracking open a case, or at least this specific case. It does suck because it was a ten. Um, just needed to be in a better case, I guess. I don't know if that's their level of grading, so I can't really say that this speaks on their level of grading because I wouldn't have given this card a 10. Um, just almost border alone. You can see the left is far much thicker than the right. Um, then you got the uplift right there. So don't let this be like your judgment on this company. It wasn't a card that I sent in and got graded. Uh, this was from someone's collection, and as far as I'm aware, they had it graded for a while, so it could have been rattled in this case for a while, and who knows, maybe they have better cases by now. Um, I don't intend to use this company as a grading company. Uh, I just don't mean to uh, say they're bad at grading just because they gave this card a 10, and uh, as much as that would make me happy for this to get a PSA 10 or wherever I send it into myself, probably PSA, I just, uh, I don't think it's going to get a 10. Uh, maybe an eight, but with that uplift, uh, it's going to be rough. Um, but thanks for watching. Bye.